Hi guys, it's me. So I thought for this video, we would make some cut and paste cards. Cut and paste is really fun. It's all about like cutting out shapes and pasting them down to an art journal page is what I've seen lots of people do on Instagram, but I really love it. And I think it's a really fun technique. So I thought that we would make actually cards, you know, so you could turn it into something. Um, so the first step that we're going to do is we are actually going to paint some index cards. Now I'm going to use my Deco Arts Americana paints. I really love these paints because they're very pigment and they go really, really far. So that's what I am going to use. So I have the Deco Arts Americana's Peacock Teal, which I did for this one already. I kind of did some prep work ahead, but that's just such a beautiful color. And then we have the Deco Arts American Americana Lilac, which is this color here. And then I thought we'd paint a few together. So Deco Arts Americana Payne's Gray and Deco Arts Americana um, pansy pink and then deco arts americana bahama blue so i just have some index card these i got from the dollar store super cheap nothing fancy and i'm just going to shake up my paint and as i said i love this paint it's light fast it's just beautiful paint and it's so pigmented and gorgeous and creamy so we're going to stick that down and we are going to paint this i'm just cleaning off my brush here so I just have a piece of white paper here just to kind of protect my surface and make it a little bit easier to paint. I do have a little bit of water in my brush, but isn't that such a beautiful rich color? It's really pretty. So I'm just going to add just a little bit here. Now you could do this on big sheets, which I have done. So I just painted just basic big sheets um, because I've done this in art journal pages. Um, but I was like, well, if you didn't want to paint a whole sheet, what could you do? And you could absolutely cut up paper and paint it that way. But I'm sure all of us have a few index cards hanging around. I always buy them and then I never use them. So I think this is a great way to kind of use it. So do that. And it dries super quick. Like you paint one and the other one's dry. So we're just going to do a couple. So I'll give you guys another like 50 minute video. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they've been so long, but I've just been very inspired lately. So that's what it is. All right, I don't think I cleaned off this brush very good. So let's just grab another one. It's not like I'll have more brushes, right? And we'll just kind of go through. And don't think about it, just add it. You could even do finger painting, which you guys know how much I love probably taking everything in me not to do it and if you like really didn't want these these size pieces of paper you could just do half of it with color with solid color you could add stenciling to this you could make you could use scrapbooking paper for this but I really like to paint my own paper so it's just a preference thing I'm gonna leave it there though so we can move on to something else. Okay, perfect, I'm gonna stick those in my water. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna cut out shapes. So um, whatever kind of shapes you want, just basic kind of shapes. So if I go here, let me grab my scissors, <laughs> which these are sewing scissors and shmi, and you're just gonna start cutting out just plain shapes, right? So I could cut out like, I don't know if this is like a half moon shape maybe here. And it's nice to have a piece of white paper underneath you because you can really see kind of the colors pop. And basically, it's just like you're a kid. Like when you used to cut sheets off of paper, I did that. I don't know. That's probably a weird kid, though. But <laughs> I thought it was fun. I know when they would have us cut out shapes and that kind of thing in school. So that's basically what you're doing. Um, but we're going to kind of use it in a different way. So you have that, right? I can cut off one more maybe and just let it go right off the edge. Now the cool part is that you could actually use this part in your art. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And I like to just cut a bunch of shapes and not know where it's going to go. So just cut out a bunch of stuff, cut out a bunch of shapes. We could do like circles. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And you'll kind of see what I mean as we get into there. So let's just do like a circle -ish shape. And 
and see how those pop together already. Can you see that? It's so pretty, like with that teal and the pink. And that's what it is, is that you're basically playing with color and pattern and shapes. And it's really a fun technique, and especially in your art journal. But we're going to make cards today. That was cool. And I don't even do this part until I have a bunch of shapes cut out. So I will show you in a second what they look like, and then we'll do a card together. Just like that. And everything is irregular. It's not perfect, right? So I could do something like that. Or I could just cut out a strip of the paper, kind of a thicker piece, right? And then put the circles against it. And see how different that is? So very cool. There's just so many different things that you can do with this technique. And make sure you save a lot of your scraps. We could do something like this, where we have that, and like that, and something like this and this. And then we have maybe a, a really skinny piece of the paint. I mean, there's a lot of inspiration out there, so I would encourage you to just kind of go check things out. And that's beautiful. And those colors look pretty together. I'll show you. So if I put them on an index card, this is how it would look. And I thought this would be such a great way to make a really pretty, very simple card, but that's very dynamic and very interesting. So we could do that, or I showed you before with the these little guys so we can do whoops you just have to be careful that you don't knock things over because they're hard to find <laughs> could do something like this now you could absolutely just glue these down with a glue stick and that will work fine i am going to use my deco arts deco page glue um, i really love that glue also so that's what we're going to use so i'm going to remove this at this point and then I have some that I kind of prearranged. I just cut out some pieces of um, crepe paper or brown um, cardstock, but kind of like craft craft paper is what I'm trying to say of cardstock. And um, that's what we're going to use for this project. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of remove things and show you how I put them together. Okay, but you could do this on white, and white would be really dynamic and beautiful too. So let's open this and let's start making stuff. Alrighty, so I'm just going to get kind of a, a smaller brush, nothing too crazy here. Turn it the way that I want it. And I had one already all picked out. I can go through, I think it was like this, I think. And I wouldn't necessarily use like cardstock. I'd use something like even copier paper or index cards are really thin. Um, just something simple. So we'll glue that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal it on top. You could absolutely do this with a glue stick if you wanted. But I really am sending this out to my patrons. So I want to make sure that it's going to make it to them. And it's going to be really, really nice. So that's why I'm doing this. And I really love this pink. So let's add that. Let's add some of these pretty pink circles too. And it kind of helps you to play with um, shapes and form in your art, which I think is such a wonderful skill to have. Um, you know, because sometimes we don't know where placement and where things should go. We're a little confused about that. So this is a really great way to kind of play and it's safe in a fun way. And I do this in my journal and they're very kind of minimalistic kind of journal pages. Um, and they're just very, very easy and they come together very, very quickly. I'm always experimenting. I think that that's really important. And we could probably even let this go off the end. I don't mind that so much. And this is clear, so you don't have to worry. And I think this is the matte one, so we don't have to worry about the the finish or anything like that. I will probably go over the whole thing though, just so it matches. And we'll do another one with a glue stick. How does that sound? So I can just show you how different it looks. But, And I mean, you could go and outline this with a black pen if you wanted. You could take this wherever you want it to go. There we go. Just like that. We could add splatters. We could add 
a word, a sticker, whatever you want. But let's just set that aside to dry. Okay. Perfect. And then let's go to glue stick. And just stick that in the water too. Grab the glue stick here. I want a smaller one. Yeah. I will use a smaller one. That one sometimes can be a little too big. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's grab another one. Let's. So this is another blank that I have. Maybe use this one. Alrighty, and this is just a discarded piece. So let's put that down. Birthday. And you could just do these while you were sitting on your couch. I love stuff like this, you know, that you can just do, not really have to think about it. You could cut stuff out, and I have a little container of all my cutouts, a um, little paper mache box, and that's it. Can I get that corner there? Because I didn't put that down very well, but it looks pretty good. Okay, and then we could add these little guys. I think that'd be great. Maybe off center a little bit. And I just really love that pop of the red. Actually, I absolutely love that. And like I said, you get to play with colors and patterns, which is such a great skill to have as an artist. And you are artists, even if you don't think so, you totally are, and you can totally do this. So I hope that you try it. And yours will turn out probably even more fabulous than mine. I promise you, because you guys are absolutely amazing. I mean, you send me your art, and I am just blown away. So, yeah, it's amazing. Let's do one here. Sometimes I glue the paper. Sometimes I will both. I am not an equal opportunity <laughs> user of the glue stick. I always kind of change it up. Alrighty. Okay. That's cool. So it's just cool and it can go this way or that way. I really like it that way. And I'd probably even trim it down even more. Because I love that. I think that is so cool. Okay. Let's do a couple more here. So we could do, we could even just do straight lines. That would be really cool. Just going to cut. Okay, so I think these little blinks a little too big. I'm just going to chop this one down just a little bit. Sorry, you won't be able to see me just for a second. So I like that. And then we could just do like lines like that. Just three little lines, right? And let's see how that looks. And if we want, we can add more on top of it. But you see that I am going through these pretty quickly, and I didn't want to use this pink one, this purple one, but it looks like that's what I grabbed, right? So we can just go through and do that. Just press it down a little bit. And oops, let's do this one. I even want five. No, I like it that way. And we could put one in the middle if we wanted. But I just like it with three, actually. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to leave it with three. So we have this one, and we have this one. This one dried a little bit more, so you get to see that beautiful contrast. This one and this one. I'm going to make another one. And I'm sorry, you guys are going to have another 20-minute video. <laughs> was not intentional. I promise. I was like, I'm going to make a short video. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> In your dreams, lady. Okay. Let's 
maybe cut this one down even more. Okay, so we could do something like this. Maybe put a pop of this beautiful teal. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's put these down first. And it's so pretty because it's just this state of just being, just experimenting. You get to experiment and see how you like things, which I think is so wonderful and awesome. I wanted to add another one, but maybe it doesn't need it. I don't think it does. Very pretty. I love that. Very cool. I'm just trying to decide if it's balanced. I think that it is. Alrighty, and this one, I'm gonna cut down a little bit off the edge. And I do this with my cards, like for sure, I'm not like a perfect card cutter for card bases, so I think that looks a little better. So they're super fun, they're totally addictive. We did like four, like in no time at all. We talked about that piece, we could even add that on top of there, which actually I kind of love. I think that's really cool. Okay, yeah, let's just do it. And don't think, don't second guess yourself. If you like something, then just glue it down. And if you don't, I'm just doing it on card basis, so I cut down this um, paper um, to a certain measurement um, just to go on my card blanks. This way I can just make a bunch of really fun and unique cards very quickly. So I love that. I think that's really cool. And you could add more things if you wanted to, text, that kind of thing. So these are card blanks from Hobby Lobby or from Michaels. So I like to use those because they're already done and I cannot measure to save my life. <laughs> Not even a little bit. It's really bad, actually. Okay, let me put the top on that. Perfect. And I did have, there we go, some double-sided sticky tape. That's what I'm going to use. Perfect. So you can add that there. Or even this one. Kind of like that one let's do that one and you could take these as far as you want you could outline them with black there is so many ways you could add a word to them like from those tim holtz word stickers or something which i love to use um so you could absolutely do that and i'm just going to do this right against the edge this is just double-sided sticky tape i get it on amazon so i'll put a link below and you can also get the card blanks on Amazon too. So I will get those in case you want to use those if you want to make some of these cards and also the paper that I'm using too, the, the beautiful crepe paper or craft paper, crepe paper, craft paper shimmy. Perfect. And I don't care if they overlap um, because they will not overlap once I take the tape off. Okay, so you can just take it and get my palm folder here. Just kind of push everything down. You can do this with a glue stick too. I'm just singing this to my patrons, so I want to make sure that it's nice and that they can reuse it if they so feel so inclined. Like that, right? Or you can do one. Maybe. Perfect. And let's do one in this way. Well, I think maybe that technique works better when I am doing smaller pieces of double-sided sticky tape. Because <laughs> normally it doesn't matter if it's overlaps, but this is really sticky too. It's a good one. It's really, really good. Okay, there we go. I'm so glad now it's affordable. Like, I couldn't afford washi tape forever. 
I mean, this double-sided sticky tape forever. So I'm so glad that they have made it much more affordable than it was. Okay, so this is not going to be straight. I'm preparing you. <laughs> but I'm going to try to get it a little bit straighter. A little bit straight. This is why I use a lot of words on my cards. So that it's a little bit... It's not as obvious, I should say, but I love that actually. I think that's not so bad. It's going a little bit here, but that's all right. Perfect. And they're supposed to be kind of whimsical and fun, so I don't think they need to be perfect. But if you wanted to, you could absolutely add a word, which maybe we will do just so I can show you. It's hard to do stuff on camera, so you could use like those kinds of words, but I don't think the bold would be the best. I think that I'm going to use one of these. Maybe we'll do Race Your Journey, Genuine, This Very Moment, Explore Dream. I like that. Very cool. So that's great. I absolutely love it. Very cool. Let's do one more and then I will let you guys go. This time I will try to be straight, <laughs> but no promises, okay? All right, so I really like this one. I think that's so pretty. All right, and maybe what I should do, which I've never thought of this before, is actually add a few little light guards that guide the, for where I should put this. <laughs> maybe that would work good. So this time we're just gonna do three strips across. Easy peasy. Running out of double side sticky tape to order some. I use it in my journaling workshop, so I go through a lot of it. If it was just me, probably not, because I don't mind letting things dry, but um, for when you're making art journals, you do kind of want. We should probably put a piece here too. Yeah. You better do that, darling, because if not, it's going to be this. Alrighty. This one and this one. And I have a few more that I made my patrons off camera, so those are really pretty. They're drying right now, so I can't show them to you, but they're really nice. Okay, I'll stick this down here. Dun 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 dun. Okay, instead of filling with it, just varnish it down, darling. Just need one side, but sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. It gets to be difficult. Okay, there we go, just like that. And let's see if I can use my guides, maybe. <laughs> Oops, sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay, let's go right in the corner there. Oh yeah, look at that. I figured out a kind of cool technique there. And this one I love. I'm not going to add anything to it. And it's perfect and you put it in an envelope and it's ready to go. I did get a spot there. I don't know what that is, but that's okay. Perfect. So you can just keep going and keep just creating these really wonderful cards um, that are very whimsical, very simple, but very fun to make. So I'm going to definitely add these on top add these to blanks too. So that's how it looks if you do the glue, which isn't a bad look, but I think maybe I do like it better with the glue stick. I think the paper doesn't blend in as much and I love that it pops. But if you use like a glossy um, deco page glue, um, then probably the colors of the paper would pop out even more. But this is so fun. I hope you give it a try. I hope you guys are doing great and I hope that you're inspired and I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please share this video because it helps me out so much and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye bye.